Yo, what up, Snatcher? I mean, Junker. <laughs> so is your next tattoo going to be to cast a Snatcher on your back? That would be sick. I should get a Snatcher tattoo. You should. At first, well, I have a lot of tattoos, viewers. And at first, I wanted to, like, every tattoo has to be important and something I really like and... Now I'm, like, out of ideas, so I'm just like, yeah, I'm gonna get a Tom Nook. Tom Nook, uh, tattoo, why not? Who the hell is Tom Nook? Tom Nook is the raccoon from Animal Crossing. Oh, you need to get your Funky Winker Beam tattoo. Hey, Funky, over here! <laughs> <laughs> That's a Simpsons. All right, can I go ask out Katrina first, though? We basically got three women at this point. Put the map data on the Kremlin's locations. So we fucked up and we didn't do any of the side shit. I guess you can only do side shit in Chapter 1. Well, there's side quests? There's, like, little stuff you can do where, like, you and... You and... Jamie, please be safe. You win. Gillian, so I'm just letting him talk. With a strict time limit. Well, he's driving us. Yeah, look at the lights. <sighs> and it's a it's a it's a self driving car. Snow. Snow nine to be specific. We've entered the snow oh. nine region. Please put on your breathing filter. Direct inhalation is dangerous. All right. Radio well, Jamie's already dead. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, there's like a scene where you can go and. You said you can have ramen with. Uh... Yeah, they eat ramen, but like they drop pizza in it. Ew. Was that a thing when you were in Japan? I never had. I don't know. Maybe I'm remembering wrong, but. There's something where they, they eat a meal together and it's some weird thing and. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it looks pretty Russian. It does. Very old church. Mm hmm. But it's actually Snow Nine. Actually, Mrs. Peace <laughs> Christmas lights would really brighten up this place. Doing interior decorating. Well, I can see the entrance from here, Gillian. Like, he doesn't even look at things. Look, okay, I know he looks at things and he goes, "It's an old building," and then, he... <laughs> and then he has, then he has metal tell him where the fucking door is. Yeah. <laughs> You can hear Jamie screaming for mercy. All right, now opening the door. <laughs> What's wrong? More open? I've scanned it, and it's not locked. It is probably rusted into place. Not surprising. After all, our friends always go in and out through the basement. Oh. Let's push it together. All right. Uh, One. How symbolic. Two. <sighs> three. Creepy. Oh, listen to that music. It's evil. It's actually a fucking banger. It is. It's Seth Roth. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that random? Huh? huh? You just found a clue. Well, the 
facial bone structure of the individual in the portrait is nearly identical. Positive identification is impossible as the picture is not a photograph. This just looks too much like him to be a coincidence. That's weird. Okay. What is going on here? This music reminds me of like crazy like earthbound music, man. Oh, like at the ending part when you're fighting uh Gaius. And you're walking up Gygus. you're walking up the the womb tube. <sighs> That's like the whole thing that people have theorized about that game, or the ending at least, is like... Because you go back in time when Gigas is young, mm -hmm. and it's like you're, you're, you're fighting his, like, womb. Because he's in, like, a machine, becoming stronger and all this crap. So it's like... And then there's, like, that the silhouette of the background looks like, like a... Fetus in a womb. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, there's a lot of focus. There's a lot of a lot of crazy shit with that game. That's why it's one of my favorites. Earthbound's <sighs> a great game. Maybe me and you should play it because you've never played it, yeah, right? No. no, but yeah, but I've seen like reviews of it and stuff, and it looks interesting. Yeah, maybe maybe that's what we'll play next because I I really fucking like that game a lot. Look at them all. Oh my god, yeah, that's a lot of snatchers. Just start shooting them all in the head. Yeah. Gender units have yet to be installed, however. So they have like dicks and Chinese. <laughs> China dance. Twenty third Siberian investigative force. Huh? Uh. Siberian, like that's Russia. Russia. Yeah. Hello, Siberia! In other words, the investigative force has been snatched. Oh, God. Uh -huh. A rather efficient system, if I do say so myself. God, I'm nervous. This is all actually new to me. I have not I seen up. I've only I've only seen up the act two. Ew. What? They're naked. It really is Final Fantasy Seven. <laughs> this is like the Shinra building, man. Well, it's more like the Mako factory and um, nibble him. Oh, yeah. Thought it was Nibbleheim. Nibbleheim, whatever. There are Snatchers with their artificial skin already installed here. This is where they fuse the artificial skin onto the Snatcher's endostructure. First, they adjust the size of the still skin of the Snatcher to the size of the individual who is to be Snatched. The Snatcher's overall shape and size can be adjusted by expansion or contraction of sizing rods. Their sex is controlled by gender units, which are installed at this point. Then, the face is modified to match the intended victim by adjusting the size of the upper and lower jaw, cheekbones, temporal bones, and tooth alignment. Just like Gibson said, that means there are limits to the size of the people that they can snatch. That's right. The limits of the mechanism mean that they can't snatch children, the elderly, or people who are very tall or heavy. And this is where the artificial muscles attach. Is it organic? No. It appears...
appears to be coated with a type of plastic gel capable of mechanical response. Like human muscles, it creates mechanical energy through chemical reactions. And this is where the artificial skin is attached. In order to prevent the synthetic cells, yeah. using biotechnology, it's like all just like exposed muscles. So who are they snatching? It's gonna be us. And this is the stuff that gets cancer if they stay out in the sun too long. Finally, they attach body and scalp hair. The process involves transplant of synthetic hair bodies. Yeah, it's gonna be fucking so Gillian. You think so? I don't know. It would appear that they make those adjustments at this point in the process, as they would for wrinkles to simulate age. Oh. I thought it was gonna be some crazy like oh, it's this person. Yeah. Yeah, we just talked about that. <laughs> yeah, it is really advanced. Just start killing people, dude. Just pull the plugs. Oops. What are you doing? Sorry, I'm just trying to... Well, I don't know what to do now. <laughs> I did everything, didn't I? Investigate everything. Did you? I thought I did. Oh. Oh, so this sorry. Is where the whole thing begins. The endostructures arrive here from the Kremlin. Then they convert them into copies of their victims, and finally, they head out into the city using the old subway system. With artificial skin maintenance being handled at Queen's Hospital. But who's behind all this? Gillian, we look know. At this. There are some finished snatchers over here. No, oh. Get a load of this. The U.S. president, the prime ministers of Japan, and the U.K. Oh. Uh. In here too. <laughs> oh, you're right. They were looking to snatch every VIP at the summit. And the last junker, you. It definitely looks like they plan on moving out beyond Neo Kobe. If they were to snatch every major world leader, they'd practically be able to control the planet. Still, that's odd. With their fluent skin, pulling something off like that would really be difficult. Chin said they had found the key to developing a perfect artificial skin. Maybe they've already produced it. No idea. But the number of snatchers here makes it clear that they're up to something new. Uh -huh. Gillian, this is definitely their nest. We should destroy everything. Not yet. Get the C4 Not metal. Uh, metal, uh, how much time do we have left? <laughs> the summit should have begun by now. We don't have much time. And once our legal privileges are suspended, I won't be able to help. In fact, I'll be forced to restrain you. I know, I know. If the military Okay, metal. You're really going to restrain us. Uh, what would they likely use? Probably a phased particle beam from one of the attack satellites. Oh, Jesus. A phased particle beam, huh? That'll wipe this complex right off the map. Everything, including the soil, will simply evaporate. The attack will leave just a large crater. Metal, can you convince them to give me another hour? Even 30 minutes will help. Understood. I'll try my best. And I'll try to find and rescue Jamie in that time. I can't transmit here due to interference from the Snow Nine. Oh, are we separating? Send the message. Wow. You gotta go with our buddy. Gillian, don't forget. 30 minutes. You must get out before then. I understand. Gillian, I'm sorry I couldn't help you better. Don't worry about it. I'll be able to move faster by myself anyway. 30 minutes should be plenty. Who's going to make metal? witty jokes? Yes, <laughs> 30 minutes. Who's going to stop us from hitting on the female snatchers? Yeah. 30 minutes. Oh, man. Metal didn't like that kind of stuff. That room is the only place left to check. Let's take a look. Uh, I remember when Metal saw Katrina naked. And he's like, oh. He had like a sweat drop. He's like, oh. Oh, oh, oh. I have that a was unexpected. I, I have a cigarette in my hand. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. 
No. Oh. Okay, let me put up my smoke. Yeah, that was that was unexpected. <sighs> they're too fucking fast this time. And, and they're doing this flippy thing. Which, like, yeah, you can't tell where they're gonna go. Oh! Oh! <sighs> okay, uh, viewers, I'm gonna get past this. <laughs> uh, by saves coming and shit, and we'll see you next time, okay? Bye, viewers. <laughs>